Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's just start out by telling you what uh, we're going to address here in this video. This is a modification to a brake lever on the, uh, this is a Brembo brake system. It's on the KTM 350 in this case. We have the factory level lever here, uh, and this is an aftermarket lever. Uh, you can buy these on Amazon, like for about 25 bucks. Um, and I did a previous video where I did a modification on this on this lever here. Um, I put this little screw in here. Um, so these, both both the factory and uh, this aftermarket one, both have an adjustment. Um, so I'm going to go take you over to the bike. I'm going to install this and show you what I'm trying to address here. All right. So right now I have the lever off the bike, and I'm going to go ahead and install the factory lever. And uh, so I'm going to get that set up there. Okay. So we're just going to test fit the factory lever here. Um, and there's an adjustment screw here. And then I've got my modification, which is just a stop right there. And uh, what, what that stop does is it, it, it brings the lever closer in. Without the stop, it comes out a little bit more, maybe even a half an inch. And so the issue there is when you go to grab the brake, you know, I'm right here. And this is even with my adjustment, but without my adjustment, my finger's here. So it's the tip of my finger. I feel more comfortable when my hand is on the grip and I want this as close as possible. So this, um, this mod actually helps. So um, this set screw, you know, you can, you can try to crank it all the way in, all the way out, but it's not gonna give you, it's, um, it's not gonna get this lever, lever any closer with this screw. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you spin it all the way in or all the way out, it just, it doesn't get you where you need to be. So that's what the set screw is for, is to pull out uh, that slack. All right, so I'll get set up and I'm going to show you the aftermarket lever and I'll show you how that helps a little bit. All right, so now we'll go ahead and put the aftermarket one in. Um, and uh, I was hoping that this would address one of my issues. It does. And that is getting this lever all the way in. See, right, right here, the brake is locked. So I still have to reach pretty far out. I just like it as close as possible. It's just me. I don't know why. But the good thing here is if we look, if we zip here, oop, with, the, with the lever that I have, um, I can get that damn thing to focus. Right here, I've got this disconnected right now. And this is the brake light, which fits here. But a good thing, with the modification I did before with that set screw, it pulled this off the uh, stoplight switch, so the stoplight switch doesn't work. But uh, with this handlebar, I'm going to get the factory uh, stoplight switch to work, and I'm going to uh, get the lever to adjust where I want. So we'll go back to the bench, and I'll show you a few issues with this lever and some modifications I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and take this apart. So one of the advertised benefits of this brake lever is that it's spring-loaded. And uh, apparently if you wreck your bike or whatever, that the handle won't break. Um, and when I got this handle, um, I could spin this off. It wasn't really tight. So there'd be a, maybe a good chance that uh, potentially it would fall off when you were riding it. Um, I'm going to have hand guards, so I'm not real totally super concerned about that that feature of this uh, brake lever. But so I'm going to go ahead and take that off. And there's this little plastic doohickey that covers the screen. It covers the spring. All right, so let's go ahead and pull the spring out. Okay. Uh, now I've test fit this. Um, I'll loosen this up here and take this little plastic piece out. That's to cover the spring. Uh, so now I've test fit this just like this. I mean, and so this is the stop point when you're pulling the brake brake lever, and from to make me happy, this is still not short enough. 
if I take that nut out, it can get close to short enough, but then I can't tighten it and it will, it will move. So this morning I went over to the hardware store and I got a selection of bol uh, bolts and these are metrics, metric bolts. They are, um, M5 with a 0.8 uh, pitch. Um, and I was playing around and the ones that I like are just, uh, these round head ones. Um, I don't have to really do any work on them. And then I went ahead and got the uh, nuts. These are stainless, whatever. I always like stainless. So we'll go ahead and put that, put that in there. And now what that does is gives me the capability to even shorten this distance even more. So with this piece in here, I'm blocked here. But now I've even got more adjustment. So that was the point behind getting the shorter bolts. Okay. So and then the other thing is is I because I'm not going to go with the the spring part and the retention all of that. Uh, these are uh, metric six uh, with a pitch one. I've just got some uh, nylon walk, uh, locking nuts. Um, and what I did notice is, is when I was trying to tighten this up, uh, the spring holder, uh, it would pinch this and it would bind anyway. So the whole th thought is I'm just going to tighten this up till it binds where it has, it won't have any slop. You will be able to force it back um, and force it forward, but the whole point is it will stay uh, where it is. So let's go ahead over it and install this on the bike. So I'm not going to put the guard back on just for clarity, um, but I'll put this on here. And now you can see that the brake lever stop will work right there. When, when I put the micro switch back in, um, it's going to work like it was factory designed. But now the beneficial part is over here, and this is not a great angle, but so that's all the way pushed in. The, the brake is almost fully engaged and it's up quote close to the handle, but this distance is the smallest po possible. And this is probably too close for my comfort um, for emergency braking or whatever, but if I take and loosen that screw up just to turn and then tighten the nut up, it will bring it just a little bit further back, maybe like that. And that's, that's the goal here, is to get the lever as close to the uh, grip as possible. Anyways, so that's kind of the thought here. Um, that's kind of the, the thought behind the mod. I um, won't film, you know, actually installing it and putting it in. But uh, you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Got the uh, brake light switch working, and now I have the adjustment that I'm looking for. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a good day. Okay, I've got it all back assembled. Oh, that's too. <clears throat> Anyways, and the orange lever that looks pretty cool. And I've got the uh, brake light working now. I tested it, I'm not going to show you because I got to start it up. Um, but I got my brakes fully engaged and I got this as close. I got a shorter lever. Uh, another advertised uh, point about this lever is, is that it's uh, less pressure to pull. I don't know whether that's true or not. Um, I've seen other people. But anyway, we'll test that out, see how that works. All right, again, that guys, thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great day.